Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. General Hospital recap and spoilers for Thursday, January 18th. Today's show was full of drama. The episode began where Wednesdays ended, with Carly Spencer having a one-on-one -on -one with Michael Corinthos. Carly begins by remarking that the conversation feels like deja vu. It was approximately a year ago that Michael confronted Carly for not telling them that Nina Rees was Widow Corinthos' biological mother. During the conversation, Michael admits he was a hypocrite, but Carly assures her son that she understands. Finally, they should have realized that the truth always comes out. As the tension eases, Michael observes that Drew Kane has lost his cool, and Carly explains that he has been struggling since returning home from Pentonville. He has not been the same. Michael has seen directly how prison can alter people, and he believes that if Drew seeks someone to talk to, he may overcome his pain. The two end on a positive note, with Michael thanking Carly for accepting his apologies and her reassurance that she would always love and support him. The nanny interrupts, telling that Wiley Corinthos wants his father upstairs, when he returns, they discuss how disgusting Nina is. Carly points out that now that she has been removed from the family, they will no longer have to deal with her. Michael wonders if Carly desires vengeance. Nonetheless, she believes that peace of mind is more vital. With this SEC revelation, she can put Nina in the rearview mirror and never look back. Drew storms inside Charlie's pub and orders a drink. Anna Devane happens to be at the bar and notices he's having a tough time. The two begin conversing, and much of what Drew says about rage resonates with Anna. She also discusses her recent struggles, including how shooting Charlotte Cassadine was the worst experience of her life. Anna describes being missled as making her feel stupid, naive and angry. She tells him that anger is a result of fear. Drew believes that after speaking with Anna, he needs to eliminate the toxicity in his life. Then Carly returns from her conversation with Michael and joins the two of them. Anna expresses her sorrow for Bobby Spencer and then moves to another table to wait for a friend. Carly updates Drew on her conversation with Michael. She adds that she has experienced similar errors as her son in the past. Drew makes it apparent that he still has to speak with Michael, but most of his rage is directed at Nina. Carly points out that the silver lining of the SEC secret expose is that they can leave Nina behind them. However, Drew comments that he can't, and it's evident that he's out for revenge. Meanwhile, back at the key house, Willow returns home after a work dispute with Michael about the SEC secret. She tells him how Darley found out, and while most of her rage is centered at her biological mother, this does not excuse Michael's role in the whole situation. Forgiveness will take time. While they are chatting, Wiley walks downstairs and disturbs them. He asks if Dad will be home tonight and when they can all get together again. Across town, Jordan Ashford has supper with TJ Ashford. He informs her about Christina Corinthos Davis' IVF operation and how he may already be on his way to becoming a father. Jordan's phone is inundated with notifications as the two continue to converse, and TJ wonders who is blowing up her mobile device. She comes clean and reveals that she is working on a side project to find out who shot Curtis Ashford, Donald Turner. After receiving one more notification, she informs him that she must go to pursue a lead. TJ says farewell and to be careful. Back at Charlie's, Anna has taken a table, and it turns out that the friend she is waiting for is Jordan. She phones her and leaves a message, asking where she is. Flash forward to Jordan on the docks, on the phone, when she agrees to meet with someone to figure out where the gun from the bullet that shot Curtis came from. When she gets off the phone, she is captured by two mysterious men who take her somewhere unknown. At the hospital, Esmond Prince dashes into Cyrus Renault's room, she is seeking assistance and explains that Nicholas Cassadine has stolen Ace Cassadine, which Spencer Cassadine permitted to happen. Cyrus wonders why she has not called the police. 
Esam informs him that Spencer has threatened to bring her old charges back up if she does, and Cyrus again wonders why she would be concerned until her memories emerged. She lies and states, Laura Collins is the town's mayor, and Nick is her son, therefore the case is likely to be contaminated. Cyrus doesn't believe that because he knows how wonderful Laura was to Esme. Regardless, Esme is asking for help, and Cyrus deduces from their conversation that she isn't really concerned about Ace's safety, it's a matter of proprietorship. Nonetheless, he agrees to provide his assistance, and despite his limited financial flow, he knows people to whom he may ask inquiries and potentially find solutions. Esim asks what he intends to do, and he says he will make a phone call and pray. Esim, furious that Cyrus isn't doing more, storms out of his room in a huff. Shortly after, Cyrus picks up the phone, calls someone, and requests that they visit him. Finally, Christina is sitting in her sweatpants, evidently attempting to relax after her IVF operation in her apartment. Blaze pays her a surprise visit and wonders why she hasn't seen much of her lately. Christina admits that pulling her hand away in the town square during the holidays saddened her. Blaze says she's always kept her personal life private, but she's willing to work on it. Christina acknowledges that she is willing to compromise. Yet, after all of her trials, she believes she must live her life according to her truth. She also tells her about her IVF procedure and the possibility of becoming pregnant. Hence, a relationship with Blaze may be hard. Christina realizes that now is not the time for romance, given everything that is going on with them both, and leads Blaze to the door. After a while, Christina sits on the couch and talks to her unborn niece or nephew developing inside her. She expresses doubts about her decision. Just then, Blaze knocks on the door. She informs Christina that while things may not work out between them, they will never know unless they try. Christina agrees and allows her in. Blaze begins preparing dinner with the nutritious goods she purchased for their meal in her backpack. According to General Hospital's spoilers, things could get complex between these ladies, but it appears that Blaze and Christina are open to romance. General Hospital's spoilers for Friday, January 19, show that the drama will flare up in Port Charles just before the weekend. First and foremost, it appears that Esmond Prince, Avery Pohl, will be in the hot seat, or will feel that way. Spencer Cassadine suspected his ex's memories had reappeared during Tuesday's episode of General Hospital. As a result, his desire to protect his younger brother Ace Cassadine overpowered him, and he enabled Nicholas Cassadine to leave with the infant to keep him away from his horrible mother. Esm will undoubtedly experience a wide range of emotions during Friday's program. Not only will she be concerned about the legal consequences if it is proven that she remembers everything, but also about the fact that Ace has vanished and she has no idea where her kid is. Furthermore, additional teasers indicate that Spencer will include Laura Collins. She is soon to learn that her son Nick has fled with her grandson Ace, and Spencer permitted it to happen. Spencer will most likely inform her that he feels Esm has remembered everything, I hope Kevin Collins is by her side if she faints from knowledge overload. Across town, GA spoilers for Friday, January 19th, reveal that Drew Kane is set to make a big decision. What may it be about? Speaking of Drew, Carly Spencer and Sam McCall will get together to discuss the changes they notice in him. What will Drew's former and current love say when they exchange notes on his personality transformation? Finally, Jocelyn Jacks will most likely be dealing with the aftermath of Adam Wright's suicide attempt. According to GH spoilers, she'll still be angry, but she'll be comforted by Dex Heller. According to General Hospital spoilers, Friday's episode will keep viewers on the edge of their seats due to the amount of action. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.